Welcome back to this Guild Wars Let's Play. Your Sambo, Seraphis heals a lot, and joining us as always is the wonderful Regina Lacerda. How are you this evening, Reggie? I'm very well, Sambo. How are you? Oh, not too bad, although I have to travel to Sydney tomorrow, bright and early, silly o'clock. I'm not oh, happy about that. Oh, you love going to Sydney, oh, don't you? You I just love find it. it one of the most magical cities in the whole of the country. Yeah. <laughs> Ah, uh, yeah, that's exactly what I think. You know what? I much prefer wandering around here in Ascalon. In fact, do you know what? I, will, I don't know if you've ever done this, but I mean, I've played a lot of MMOs, and I'm sure you have as well. I would love someone to make, like, a theme park or something, and, like, sculpture a landscape that was either, like, pre-searing Ascalon, or Elwyn Forest in WoW, or something like that. I would definitely pay money to go there and wander about. Is that geeky? Is that terrible? Wander about in a real... No! I love the idea! I mean, imagine it! Imagine if you were able to wander around in a place that was, like, really familiar to you, um, but it had been created in real life. Oh, I reckon that would go off. There you go, folks. That would Someone's... be so cool, but how would you get it all pixely and, you know... Oh, yeah, well, there's uh, that. Uh, not quite, not quite <laughs> real... <laughs> Mm, yeah, okay, good point. Just pour cold water on my brilliant idea, why don't you? <laughs> Never mind. Sorry, that's my job. Yeah, well, I'm going to go visit those places in my imagination. Do you know what, actually, um, very quickly, what I do do sometimes is on my um, iPhone, uh, with its iPod, of course, I will play the soundtracks to MMOs. So, for example, the beautiful soundtrack in, in this game, um, and also WoW, and, um, you know, all my other favorites as well. And it's almost as if like if you close your eyes it's like you are wandering through those zones it's quite bizarre quite surreal anyway yeah enough no, about... i could i could see just don't do it while you're driving oh no <laughs> otherwise you might try because <laughs> there's no teleporting in real life so i wouldn't be able to get out of that one whoops now, no look... and and in real life if you do get knocked unconscious you tend it tends to be a bit more slower process than just hopping up and starting again that's true there's no resing in real life <laughs> and there's no, no. hearthstones Oh dear, now look, before I forget, by the way, I just see your um, cat wandering around in the background there. You discovered something really interesting earlier, didn't you? Um, what the, ponders the, do, you've got a, you've got an emote for everything. What is this? I only know like sit and cry. Mind you, they're the only ones you generally need in an MMO, but anyway. Um, you. Yeah, well you need to sit and cry a lot, don't yeah. you? <laughs> I'm talking about the MMO, not real life. Anyway, your, oh, right. your yes, cat. Yes, yes, because real life is so different. Um, uh, yes, my cat, I've figured oh out how to change his name. Figured out how to change the name. All right, so, um, well, it's still the same name. So how, Well, what do you it mean? is at the moment. Oh, so you're going to change Let it? Let me just... I am, I am. I've right. typed in um, an emote. Let's see if I can... And, and a name. All right. And I'll get the... Because we're looking guess at... Guess what I'm going to call it. Um, well, well, we're looking at the name of it in... Oh, there! <laughs> That's what you're going to call it. Hello, Kitty. It was so, a little bit of a rhetorical question. Yeah, that was really, wasn't it? Because you've been calling the poor thing Hello Kitty for the entire Let's Play series. <laughs> and now it really hey, if is called... I could called... put a pink bow on its ear, I would. Oh, no. Oh, poor, you poor thing, cat. Um, you can see there, folks, in the list of party members in the party mm. window up here, uh, below the mini-map, you can see now that it has, in fact, changed to Hello Hello Kitty. So, are you going to share with us how you did that? Because you can do it on the fly, obviously. You don't have to go see an NPC or anything like that. No, yeah, it was just through an emote. You just type in slash pet name, all one word, and then the name that ah. I wanted to give it. That's fantastic. And presumably you can do that whenever you like. You're not limited to once or anything like that. I I, I assume you could. Um, all right. I believe I did read that it's actually, um, you can only have to, up to 12 characters though, so you can't ah. call it that cat that I'm going to set loose on Sambo and have his jugular <laughs> ripped out later on in life. <laughs> That'd just be a little bit too long, it, apparently. Is there something you're trying to say there, Reggie? Gosh, see folks, this is what I have to deal with every week, every week. The game is wonderful, the environment's wonderful, but then there's Reggie. Yeah, anyway, let's, <laughs> let's move right along, because look at this, folks. Look at our quest log. It's getting absolutely bare now. We've got two quests left, and in fact, one of those quests is the very last quest in this pre-searing zone. Um, we're left with one, and that is Across the Wall, which, of course, is an extremely iconic quest, because 
It's about the wall that we're standing on right now. You can see if I pan around there, we're actually standing at the top of a wall and we've been given a quest here that you may remember last episode we spoke of. It's one where you need to be in a party. You can't do this on your own because one person, as you can see behind me, there's a lever. One person has to operate that and the other person has to go through the door down below. So, Reggie, um, now, hang on. Is there a roll? Let me just see if there's a roll emote in this game. I can't remember. No, there isn't. Um, all right, so uh, roll. Yeah, in uh, other games like WoW, you can type slash roll, and it will actually randomly, like a dice roll, you can actually roll a, a random number, and that's how you can decide um, some decisions. It's really handy, actually. I'm surprised that this game doesn't have that. But anyhow, well, who... you could do this. Oh my God, rock paper. Oh, I wonder if it actually works if you've got two people. Interesting. Um, how do you? What's the emote for that? Well, you actually type in what you want your winning hand to be. So slash rock or slash paper or slash scissors? Yeah. All right. Okay. We can give that a try. Well, I had no clue. That's really interesting. Okay. I'm about to do it. Are you going to do it again? I am. All right. Here we go. You ready? Yep. All right. And go. One, two, three, four, <laughs> five, six. How many are they doing? Good Lord. What do we got here? Scissors, rock. No! No! <laughs> I lose. Wait a minute. You blunt me. Ah ha ha. Because, oh, well, I presume that's rock. Is that rock or paper? I no, that's that... rock. Yeah, that's I, rock. I did paper before to put you off. Ah, I see. That's why I did scissors. Damn it. I didn't know. <laughs> Look at that. Well, that's a great decision making uh, <clears throat> a mechanism in the game. That's fantastic. All right. So, your choice would you like to be on lever duty or door duty? Um, I will be on door um, door duty. Right. So if you do the lever, you could actually um, there's a grate behind the lever. You could actually have our um, our little view looking down oh, at the door if you like. Good idea. Mm, it'll be a better vantage point. Yep, great idea. All right. See, I'm thinking about our viewers, not about you. Yeah, that'd be right. She's always thinking about everyone <laughs> but me. Ah, <sighs> sigh. That's all right. Leave me up here, Reggie. I'm fine. You know, don't worry about me. Yeah, I'm bye, Sambo. It's been nice knowing you. Yeah, that's right. You, that poor Hello Kitty. You better open the door for me, though. Yeah, that's right. I hope it opens on your face. All right, there she is. There's the pet. <laughs> Hello Kitty. Where's Reggie? I can't actually see your... You know, oh, there she is. She's down the bottom. All right, here we go. One lever about to be pulled. There it is. And okay, there's you should be able to bottom. see me wander through. Yes, I can. Can you see me? We can Beautiful. see. Beautiful. And is she on and the I other shall side? drag you through the portal. There we go. So yeah, you can't just walk oh, through, folks. We, it is oh, the we portal. haven't got that many files to download. There we go. Great. Oh, I look. thought for a minute we might have to get a whole heap of files. Yeah, no. Look, it's new explorable area, the Northlands. And you can see that that's opened up on our map up the top there. you can see an asterisk, asterisk up to the northwest. Let's have a look at what the quest is saying. Find your way north of the wall to Pikin Square. All right. A new outpost. You know what? I remember spending lots and lots of time in Pikin Square. Not in pre-searing, but post-searing. Brings back many memories. And you can see the yes. wall behind us. Ooh, cool. All right. Where are we going? Oh, we're going no, this I way. just love this uh, this area. It's so yeah. beautiful, and here we are talking about how, you know, how bad it is and how we're going to die heaps of times. But it's so and, pretty. Um, you know, I know, I know. And not only oh. that, but look, we've got a new monster type there, folks. One that you haven't seen we in do. the game yet. Yeah, and he's heart. a level five, which is, I think, one of the highest levels we've come across. Yeah, it is actually You're dead right. And whoops. And he's throwing, on me. throwing big boulders at us. And of course, yeah. there's lots, lots more monster types. Um, whoops, lots more monster types to come across in the game, as you can well imagine, uh, that we haven't come across in these early areas. The mobs are varied. Oh yeah, look, it's all enclosed by the wall. I forgot about that. It's so cool. Yeah. All the um, old ruins and stuff. It's fantastic. Well, I'm really getting excited now. Like, really super excited. <laughs> Try to contain yourself. I will. I will. <laughs> Cheeky sod. Oh, a red iris flower. Now, we're going to have to do rock, paper, scissors for these, I think. Because I can't think of any other diplomatic... Because now they're actually works worth something. Yeah. Well, actually... let's take out these mobs first. Yeah, good idea. 
clear the area. No point doing rock, paper, scissors in front of a bunch of mobs, that's for sure. They're like Ow. walking trees. I know, with but they're big boulders that they're throwing, that's good lord. They oh. are. Uh oh, I'm gonna run out of inventory. I, I think I've already run out of I have, my inventory is full. What the heck? Well, you only you keep on saying you only have one slot of inventory left. I know, it's terrible. <laughs> All right, are you ready for some rock, paper, scissor action? I am indeed. All right, let's go now. Oh, do I oh. wait for you, maybe? Yep, that didn't work. No. Oh. What did you do? Oh. I don't know. I said just says an unknown command. Oh, you must have done a typo. Obviously don't have a spell. <laughs> yeah. All right, ready again? Absolutely. And go. Go. Let's see. What have we got here? She's got... Oh, it's a drawer. Oh, we both no went paper. Oh, man. All right. Let's do it again. Oh, this is... Are you ready? Yes. And go. What's it going to be, folks? Who's getting the red iris flower? And we've got scissors versus rock. It's me. It's me. I win. Oh. All right, I am going to have to drop something, though, which sucks. That really sucks. I don't of want to drop course. anything. I know. Well, I, I have space in my inventory if you want me to get it for you. Oh, that's so kind. Because she knows, <laughs> she knows I'll forget about it. So, yep, go on. You take it. That'd be nice. Thank oh. you. All right. And I can't pick that up because I'm full. So you can see, folks, the um, countryside is starting to change a little bit out here. We've come across a lot of ruins. Hey, Reggie, should we? We've got a whole Ooh. bunch of mobs over there, a whole bunch of char. Do you want to go over and, and grab them? Because we well, need those. Well, let's just have a look. It looks like there's a shaman in there. Oh, really? So I reckon we should target him first. So if we go C and then tab through to lock okay. onto the shaman. And oh, this is probably a good um, a good time to mention the control mechanism here, where you call out a target. Now, uh, I'm sure Reggie knows what I'm talking about, but just for you guys at home, you can see I've got the Char Shaman targeted there. If I hold control and then hit spacebar, what's going to happen is I'm going to announce to the party that that is my target. Not only that, but you'll see a little symbol appear by my name in the party list. And what that means is that everyone else in the party, now obviously right now it's just Reggie, but later on in the game when you've got four or five people in your party, this is very handy. Everyone else can just click on the little symbol next to my name and that will target the mob that I am targeting. So uh, that is a great way of uh, being able to actually focus fire on one particular mob like we're going to do now. So here we go, I'm going to hold control, hit space. You'll see there I'm attacking Char Shaman and there's a little T that has appeared next to my name. Reggie, all she needs to do is click on that and it will target the Shaman for her. It's a great little um, trick and I'm dead. That <laughs> is a good little trick. <laughs> <laughs> that didn't last very long. Good lord. No, I did say that we would die a lot here. Oh, yeah. I remember that sound. I that, know. That, that char sound. I know, there. Look at that. And poor old Hello Kitty's going to get his <clears throat> rear kicked as well. Oh, dear. Well, we basically did not get any of them there. No. So we know the answer to that question. Shall we attack them? No. <laughs> I think is the right answer. <laughs> We're just too little. We're too little yet. But um, how do we get our char carvings without attacking them? Oh, I don't know. Maybe, maybe I guess after we've done uh, all of these other quests, maybe we'll get enough XP and level up one more. Who knows? We'll see. Wait a minute. We... Done all the other quests? Yeah, well, I don't know. We're definitely this too small, though. They, they just completely wiped the floor with us, didn't they? They wow. did. Well, they were level 7 and level 8 in there. So now seeing ah. as we're only... We're level only level seven. seven. Yep. That's going to be yeah, rough. We're kind of... We're both a bit too squishy. We are. And for some I'm reason I can't get down there. I can sneak behind them. But, oh. 
This Talk is about a very get, big exploration area. Way. Yeah. Oh, now I've lost you. Where are you? Oh. Hadn't you... Hadn't you clicked on me to follow? No. But are you, ah! have, you, have you gone to Pike and Square? No, I haven't. And I'm being attacked by... Ah, only level three Grawl. I can take these out. Oh, okay. Whoops. I was running on ahead trying to find Pike and Square, trying to find a way down there, and I completely left my partner behind. That's terrible. Good Lord. And you're out of range, and so I I'm can't heal you. And I'm about to... I know. I'm looking yeah, at your health oh. bar. Ooh. Oh. That was pretty close. Yeah, I dear, even I dear. did my my healing, but it didn't seem to do any uh, do enough to no, it heal didn't, me. Didn't save you. No, yeah, no. I was trying to run behind and do a loop around the char to get to Pike and Square. Ah, oh, well, I did find a nice little shortcut through. So once you res, you should appear at the. Uh, oh, have you resed yet? I believe because you're. Um, still alive i'm not going to res near you oh i'm not going to res till you're you pass out or until i find you okay whereabouts are you on the map are you able to ping the mini map because then i can come and um, resurrect you because i do have a resurrection spell i think have i no i didn't equip can it you see my pinging yeah i do but i don't have a res spell <sighs> i can't believe it so I think we're going to have to resign. You're a aren't healer we? without a res spell. I know, I know, I know. I didn't think we'd need it. Well, and I rather wanted... than resigning, because if you resign, we'll return to an outpost. Yep. But if you get yourself killed, okay. we'll stay here. Well, you know what? I don't think that's going to be a problem somehow. So I'm just going to charge <laughs> in to the char and say, "Hello, my name is Seraphis. What say you?" Here we go. Hi there, folks. Hello. Yes, it's me. Okay, let's see how long it takes for me to die. Oh, look at that! Five, four, three, two. Oh, no, not even there. There we go. <laughs> yeah, I honestly think we're just a little too squishy for going in there at this point in time. Oh dear. Yeah. There we okay, go. Okay, so you you found a shortcut. I shall yep. follow you. Yep, I did. Don't and get it goes killed. Nowhere near the char. Thank goodness. Mm, they're big minis. Yeah, they hit really hard, don't they? And especially because we're not uh, warrior class. And, of course, we don't have any assistance at this time either. So we're uh, totally exposed. And it's not a good thing. That's all right. We get to see more of the uh, Northlands countryside, which is no bad thing. It's so pretty. No, it's not. It, it is strange, though, in this part of the game, sort of we, so far we've been seeing beautiful countryside and lovely castles and that, and all of a sudden we're seeing ruins. Yeah, it um, is. It is quite interesting. Yep. And, of course, coming up to a new ah. outpost, which is always good. Yes. This is not ruined, this outpost, no. by the looks of it. Here we the go, Pike open. and Square. Oh, now actually, uh, this is—is is, is it an outpost or is it actually just a? Well, you know what's confused me. Within the me? exploration area. Yeah, this this particular part, yeah, because um, without giving too much of the game away, of course, this area in a later part of the game is in fact an outpost. Uh, so it is. Yeah. So that's what's confused me. So we need to carry on past it, obviously. That's interesting. Because there's no vendors here, no NPCs. No. Uh, and no other players. No. So that's very interesting. It's I didn't so realise that this was here. seeing it looking like this. It's been a long time since I've seen it in this state. I know. Same here. It's bizarre. All right. Well, I guess we follow the old green arrow. Yes, indeed. Ah, uh, there we go. Pip. Yeah, you can see it up there. Now, how do we get there? Oh, okay, it's across the river. And it looks like we've got lots of mobs. We've got some Grawl. All right. We should be able to take this together. Yeah, I think so. They look like they're... Oh, what are they? Level 5? It should be okay. Yeah. Of course, pretty folks, bad, but... 
yeah, keeping my energy up. I'm going to go easy on the um, damage because I want to keep my energy for heals, of course, to make sure that we don't let Reggie die again. Shocking, shocking, shocking. <laughs> there yes, we go. Bad healer. Bad, bad healer. <clears throat> and we've got another shaman there, so of course we're going to target that one. And of course, using the call out button there, you can see by hitting control space, we've got the little T mark next to my name in the party list. So it's and nice and easy. That I just have to press space. Oh, great. So it automatically targets it. That's good. Well, it doesn't target it, but when I press space, it then goes, oh, okay, this is who you want me to attack. Ah, and right. And I just to do so. Great. And there we go. Got a few goodies that you can't goodies. pick up. Yep. I'm going to have to drop a couple of things temporarily to be able to get this gear because it's a salvageable piece. Its uh, sole existence is actually to salvage. So we'll do that and get ourselves some, um, what do we get, tanned hide square. So we've got crafting material out of that, so well worth salvaging those pieces. Thank you for waiting. All right, where are we going? Oh, we have to pass by some more baddies by the looks of things. We'll just um, sneak past. Hopefully they won't see us. Yeah. I love these, um, looks like sculptures up on the up on the cliff here. It's sort of like it oh, doesn't yeah. fit into the landscape. Yeah. Mm. Actually, there's one over it's there like, too. They're like, they're like the sort of husks of ah, creatures. Ah, guess who I found? Who have you found? Ah, that's who I we want. I found Ben. Hey, Ben. I'm right behind you. Okay, let's see what we have to do. Lead Ben Wolfson back to the gate. All right, so they were not quite <laughs> not quite true about the Pike and Square thing. We didn't actually have to go there. It was near Pike and Square, but that is that empty outpost that we went to. That is where Pike and Square normally is, folks, just in case you're ever wondering. Okay, now, are we? I guess we're not... I don't know, are we able to map travel back or do we have to run back? No, we'll have to run because he wants us to go to the yeah, gate. Yeah, it says that we have to lead him. Oh. All right. Let's do... Oh, and I see a hidden stash up ahead. Hidden stash is good. And I can announce that as well by um, hitting control space. <laughs> oh, something else did... Oh, my inventory is full. Same here. I'm just going to temporarily drop some so I can salvage it. I'm down to two uses of my salvage kit already what is going on good lord we're like we, you know what i think we are pack rats that's what we are we're like hoarding pa pack rats <laughs> we are <laughs> terrible so pretty up in here in the northland so very nice oh look a couple more now i'm gonna a couple now, of the carts. technically um yep now reggie's the party leader so we should be letting her doing the calling uh and we'll follow her suit do you want to call out a target for it with the old control space thing? So we can see how that works from the other end. There we go. So T has appeared next to her name. It's automatically going to target what she's got targeted. And there we go. It's a nice way of communicating your intended target to the rest of the party, especially like Reggie said earlier, if there's a shaman or something like that that's actually healing the rest of the mobs. And you don't want that because that's just going to mean things are going to take a whole lot longer to kill. And you're going to get a lot more beaten up. That's right. Speaking of beating up, hello Warthog. Even though you weren't uh, aggressive towards us, you may I have crafted him material. and he wasn't aggressive. I know, but he might have something cool that I drops. I don't know what you just did there, Sambo. <laughs> I attacked it. How did you make him... At, uh, how, how did you attack it, though? I just selected him and uh, hit spacebar. It seemed to work. Oh, okay. I must admit I didn't think well, that would go. work, but it did <laughs> anyway. <laughs> so there you go. There's probably some greater purpose to that. Yeah, I'd imagine, mate. Were you hoping he'd drop some bacon? Yeah, well, yeah, well crafting material or bacon. So uh, I would have been happy with either. <laughs> <laughs> Definitely. All right, so here we come back to the gate. Let's and the gates out. are still open. Yes, thank goodness. Lead Ben Wolfson back to the gate. Let's see what happens. Hopefully it'll trigger as he gets closer. I owe you my oh, life. There we go. Return to Gate Guard Torren for your reward. I'm assuming that's on the now other that side. that would be on the other side. All right, take us through, Reggie. 
take us through. Lovely. Although we didn't actually manage to get any of the char, it means that we didn't actually manage to get any of the char carvings. I know. It's unfortunate, isn't it? Mm. Oh, I'm going to... We're going to have to find a way to do that. I know. Oh, I've got to drop things as well. Yep, same here. Oh, it's so now, sad. Why? Whoa, I think we might have to drop two things. Yep, I had to drop two. Wow. Oh. oh, and they're blues. Oh, this being is super generous. Yeah, this is getting excruciating now because I'm going to have to leave behind a blue item. I'm. Oh, it's that's horrible. Oh, I'm going to have to as well. Actually, I've just noticed I've got some spider kits, spider webs that I could have salvaged that I haven't been on. I'm going to run out of salvage kits. Damn, but that does mean I've got extra space so I can pick up my two blues. That's not so bad, but yeah, it's a horrible feeling, isn't it? Well, did you want my blue? Because I can't pick it up. Oh, you know what? I can't drop anything either. I've got no whites to drop. <gasps> it's horrible. <laughs> oh, this is awful, isn't it? It is. Let's, let's, let's run away quickly before we get upset. Now, hang on a minute. Yes. At least I didn't have to drop a pair of shoes. Well, yeah, that's true. <laughs> I would be heartbroken if I lost some shoes. Listen to her, folks. Just the same as real life. Now, I'm looking at our quest log here, and I've something's changed because all that's all that's here now is the path to glory, which, of course, is the major quest out of here. So what happened to fighting all the mm. char? Well, I, mean, I think that quest was just about finding that guy in the in the Northlands. Oh, Maybe I thought... You don't we... actually have to fight the char, but oh. it's more a case of, yeah, that's where the char happened to be. Oh, okay. I seem to remember actually having to fight them. Maybe I'm thinking of a cut scene or something like that. Maybe. I'm not sure. There you go, folks. The thing is, we've got a decision to make now as we head back into Ascalon City. Let's pull us in. Because... Now we've got a choice. Do we try and struggle and level up and get some char skull carvings or whatever they're called in order to get the special gift from, um, wow, that's an interesting mask that guy's wearing, uh, from our secret garden NPC or do we leave it behind? What, gosh, what do we do? What do you think, Reggie? Oh, I think a guy with a dragon head has just run in front of us. Um, <laughs> there he is. And also, by the way, <laughs> quick, me a, little bit. <laughs> a quick shout out. We've got um, one of our, uh, another one of our viewers saying hello to us here. Uh, player character name of Aza Taisho, which is Saiguku on YouTube. So let's say hello to him. Hello there. There you go. Shout out to you. We'll just let him know that we're filming. While well, you decide what we're doing, by the way. Oh, see, I'm, 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 I'm so tempted to try and get some of those char carvings because I want that, I want that, um, I want that prize. I don't even know what it is. I, I mean, know. it could be, it could be something so pointless and terrible, but I just have to know. I know. That's the thing. It's like, uh, if we leave it behind, it'll forever haunt us. Yet it could take yeah. us, it could take us weeks to um, get enough strength up and kill enough mobs and do all the rest of it to level up in order to be able to actually um, go and attack those char which are you know extremely high level in terms of our abilities and our skills oh, now speaking of skills actually while we're in this outpost I'm actually going to ditch my last mesmer skill and I'm going to uh, bring back the where are we I want to bring back the res now where is my res Reversal of Fortune, is it that one? No. Enchantment, no. Where is my res? Retribution, Banish. No. Well, maybe, gosh, maybe I don't have one. Wait a minute, Healing Breeze, Horizon of Healing. Healing Breeze, no. I'm trying to find my resurrection spell. You know what? After all of that, I actually don't have one. I've been thinking of another character, but what I do have is a Resurrection Signet. Um, so we might change that over, I think. So there you go. At least I've got my Res Signet on me now. Um, 
Oh, and another thing that I haven't done, I'm not sure if Reggie has been checking hers either. As you can see there, folks, my attribute points. I've actually got seven unused points. Terrible, terrible me. Should have been um, applying them as soon as I got them because, of course, we've gone through a couple of levels. And I should have been uh, adding them to my healing prayer. So I'm going to do that there. And we've got you one mean point you don't left. do them as you go? I know. Oh, terrible, isn't it? Absolutely sample. terrible. I know. I'm so sorry. Because, of course, it would have meant I was that's healing like, that's you like for more. That's like Guild Wars 101. I know. I know. I'm terrible. Uh, protection prayers or divine favor? What do we got here? Protection. Yeah, we'll put one into protection as well. Yeah, all my points used up now. Now, um, one other question I remembered, by the way, Reggie. There aren't any skill trainers in pre-searing, are there? Oh, I'm pretty sure there aren't. Not that I remember. No. All right. <clears throat> Let's see what we can sell. Make some room. Uh, get rid of those blues. Long sword. A deadly sister. And I think that's about it. Oh, full bags. It's horrible. Need to buy a salvage kit. That's uh, what I'm doing at the moment. Just having a good old salvage here. Yep. Uh, Try and clear up some space. Yep, salvage some spider webs. Here we get piles of glittering dust from the spider webs, which of course we need later on for our crafting. There we go. All right, well, either way, Reggie, we've run out of time for this episode, so at least we got to see uh, the uh, Northlands up the top there. Uh, and we are right at the point now where we have effectively finished our pre-searing uh, escapades, except for the fact of this new collector that got pointed out, pointed out to us in the secret garden, uh, which you would have seen in our last episode. So we have to decide whether or not we're going to hang around and collect uh, skulls or char carvings or whatever they are. Um, we need three, no, mm. five of them, I think, uh, in order to be able to get whatever the gift is that that collector has. Uh, but of course, to do that, it means we're going to have to hang around and level up because we have to kill char, and they are extremely difficult to kill at our level. So it's going to be they either that. Are indeed. I know, it's either that or we... We swallow our pride and we carry on leaving that quest behind only to be done another Sometimes day. Sometimes it's better that you don't even know about it. I know. Curses, we know about it and we're probably going to have to leave it behind. But anyway, that is a decision that we yeah. will make offline. And of course, um, we'll be back in the next episode either moving, moving through the storyline or going char hunting, one or the other. So uh, I hope you guys at home enjoyed Lovely. this episode. I hope, of course, you'll join us for the next episode. It's from me, Sambo and Seraphis. Uh, and of course, on behalf of Reggie, who once again, we thank for joining us today. We hope you have a great day. Take care. We'll see you later. Bye-bye. Bye-bye.